The vibration system amplifier is one of the four principal components of the vibration shaker. The amplifier supplies the electrical energy which is required to drive the actuator. As we explained in our vibration actuator video, the amplifier works very much like an audio system amplifier does when driving the motion of an audio speaker. In the case of a vibration system amplifier though, this amplifier is considerably more powerful than your audio system amplifier. There are two important considerations of a vibration system amplifier which can affect your vibration test. In our vibration actuator video, we explained that the amplifier provides the alternating current to the actuator coil, which is surrounded by an electromagnet. The coil is forced to move back and forth through the principle of induction. An amplifier is rated for a maximum power output. This maximum power rating defines the maximum force which the actuator can impose on the static weight of the payload attached to the armature. The first important characteristic of an amplifier is that this maximum power is not evenly available throughout the frequency range of the shaker because the amplifier is not equally efficient at all frequencies. Especially at high power levels or when testing with large payloads, the vibration test engineer must consider this frequency related inefficiency when determining if the vibration system will be capable of performing your test. The second amplifier characteristic that the vibration engineer must consider is also related to the maximum rated power of the amplifier. In this case, the dynamic response of the test article and or the vibration fixture can restrict the ability of an amplifier to provide enough power to perform your vibration test. As a vibration test transitions through a resonance, the amplifier will reduce its output to mitigate the amplification which occurs at a test article or vibration fixture resonance. The opposite effect occurs when the test article or vibration fixture experiences an anti-resonance. In this case, the amplifier will increase output to maintain test levels within tolerance. This increase in output may not be available from the amplifier in cases where the test article or vibration fixture are very heavy. In these cases, a higher capacity vibration system may be necessary in order to perform the test. While the test engineer can't change the test article resonances, a well-designed vibration fixture can reduce the need for your test to be performed on a higher capacity vibration system. This is why your vibration test engineer needs to know more than just the static weight of your article or the vibration fixture. 